And so, we see Ambrose and his family pack up what belongings they have or can carry on their cart and begin the arduous trip eastwards across rugged country. The light is fading. Ambrose huddles in the corner of the horse-drawn cart and uses straw to keep himself warm. It starts to rain. Ambrose, dressed in rags, looks back at Loch Arrow. He doesn't know it yet, but this is the last time he will see this landscape. As they move slowly over the rough ground, he's thinking. He's thinking about British colonial rule. He's thinking what a drag this is. Ambrose looks at his parents' faces for clues. It's clear they're not happy. Not happy at all. Perhaps they too think this is something of an inconvenience. Perhaps they're thinking of Irish nationalism here. Or maybe they're thinking of the injustice of it all. Perhaps what they're really thinking of is the humiliation. In the biopic, they will have a long journey in which to dwell upon this humiliation. A humiliation that Ambrose will learn much about in the coming years.